Hello everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on what is now Hurricane Fiona. So I'm here with an afternoon update on the cyclone as it is making its very close approach to the island of Puerto Rico. And so we'll be talking about the latest on the storm and what is expected of it. One thing for sure is that it is likely to become a major hurricane as we're going to be progressing further into this week. And so before I go into details... Alrighty, and let's go ahead and begin with a satellite view of the Caribbean right now. We see that Fiona is quite prominent in the Eastern Caribbean as it is uh, getting itself together over there. And so looking at a closer view of the cyclone on satellite, we're seeing here that we have this new blob of very deep convection associated with it. Uh, and that is likely bringing some very heavy rainfall to Puerto Rico right now. And it is likely that these heavy rainfall events that are expected will trigger mudslides and flash flooding and there is also the risk of that storm surge caused by the winds of the cyclone pushing the seawater on shore so that is going to be yet another issue uh, mainly for coastal areas but the main issue with this is the heavy torrential rainfall that is anticipated from Fiona and the Dominican Republic should start feeling some major impacts from the cyclone as we progress into the rest of today and going into tomorrow and Fiona is not even moving very quickly so it's going to be in the region for quite some time while intensifying and so the current uh, the center of it is currently off the southwestern coast of Puerto Rico and it is likely to continue moving a bit to the west northwest before that general northwestward track and so now let's go ahead and talk about the various watches and warnings that are in place as well as the rainfall totals that are anticipated across the various islands of the Caribbean and so as we take a look at the cone forecast here we're seeing that Fiona has maximum sustained winds of 85 miles per hour so when it became a hurricane it had winds of 80 miles per hour that was in the previous advisory to this one and now winds have slightly increased so uh, Puerto Rico and sections of the Dominican Republic are under a hurricane warning as those imminent conditions are expected and the hurricane watch that was in effect for the Virgin Islands has been discontinued so likely tropical storm conditions will persist as we head throughout the rest of today but uh, hurricane conditions are not expected expected across these regions but we see that the tropical storm watch is in place for sections of the southeastern Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands because uh, as we're going to be heading into Tuesday uh, the system is going to be intensifying and it will be close enough in proximity to the point where tropical storm conditions will be felt in these areas so again the very heavy rainfall is expected from Fiona through all these sections of the Northern Caribbean going into the Turks and Caicos Islands and the Bahamas as you're going to be heading into the rest of this week. And the story does not end there because Bermuda could be impacted by Fiona when it is probably going to be approaching its worst. So uh, Fiona is likely to become a major hurricane by the midweek and it could be in very close proximity to Bermuda. And as I mentioned in uh, my earlier update video today, uh, the fortunate thing is that Fiona is going to be rapidly making its way out. So once it makes that curve and starts to move on that northeasterly track, then it is going to be moving very quickly. So even though those uh, dangerous conditions will not be very persistent, uh, a short amount of time is enough to cause some massive destruction in the island. And so if you're there, please keep an eye on this and do not take it lightly because it is likely to bring some dangerous impacts if it's going to be close. The center doesn't have to make its way over the island, uh, but being close enough would allow the island to be in maybe that hurricane wind field. Maybe a watch or warning might be required for Bermuda uh, over the next couple of days before Fiona makes its way close enough to the island. But uh, the various totals of rainfall that are expected now and so uh, for the Leeward Islands maybe an additional two inches of rainfall or even less because of course Fiona is making its way away from that area. And then for the British and the U.S. Virgin Islands, you guys can be looking at maybe four to six inches of rainfall, maybe maximum amounts of 10 inches on St. Croix. And then for Puerto Rico, 12 to 16 inches of rainfall with local maximum of 25 inches. And that is mainly for the eastern and southern portions of the island of uh, Puerto Rico. And so guys, a lot of heavy rainfall we see anticipated for the island. And uh, it is likely affecting the island very badly already. So things are only going 
things get worse as we progress throughout the rest of today. And then for the northern and eastern portions of the Dominican Republic, we're looking at four to eight inches with localized maximum amounts of 12 inches of rainfall. Uh, we're expecting that mainly for the northeastern coast of the country. And then we have the rest of the Dominican Republic and even Haiti expecting, uh, say, one to three inches of rainfall. And then the Turks and Caicos Islands are under a tropical storm watch, as I said earlier, and persons there should expect maybe, say, three to six inches of rainfall. So a lot of heavy rainfall expected across all these areas under the various watches and warnings so guys uh please if you're not being affected by fiona's yet if you're in the dominican republic or even the turks and caicos islands or the southeastern bahamas and you haven't begun preparing i suggest you do so because fiona is likely to intensify as i said and it is going to be bringing those very dangerous those very life-threatening conditions and then as we're going to be taking a look now at current conditions in the vicinity of Fiona, we're seeing here that ocean temperatures are definitely favorable. And the only reason the storm isn't likely to weaken as it is going to be making its way back out into the Atlantic is because it is going to be uh, the center of it is really going to be remaining over warm ocean waters for the most part. Uh, so it is going to be just in that gap between uh, the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. So it's going to be moving there and then into those waters warm ocean waters and that wind shear in the area is likely to decrease and result in uh, a lot of intensification of the cyclone and so moving on to the wind shear map and so the red indicates that there is unfavorable shear uh, which means that we have those very strong upper level winds resulting in displacement of the convection within the cyclone and preventing it from really growing and intensifying and the yellow lines mean that there is neutral shear won't be too impactful but the green indicates that there is favorable shear so we see that uh, Fiona is not in a highly conducive environment in terms of the wind shear, but of course it is going to be making its way up into the open waters of the Atlantic and intensifying there. So uh, it is likely to become a major hurricane. That seems very, very likely right now. So again, portions of the Caribbean, specifically uh, sections of the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and even going up to the Turks and Caicos Islands and southeastern Bahamas should anticipate some very dangerous conditions from Fiona, mainly in terms of all that torrential rainfall that is expected. And then in the long term, Bermuda will probably be affected by Fiona when it is a major hurricane. And in that case, if it does intensify into a major hurricane, it will be the first of this hurricane season. And so uh, again, if you're in Bermuda, you want to keep an eye on what is happening with the cyclone because it could very well impact the area. And of course, I'm going to be keeping you guys updated as time goes by. And so that is really it for this video. And if you found it to be quite informative, please give a thumbs up. And you can share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question. I will try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And of course, remember to always be otherwise.